That's right guys, in two minutes, you're gonna know everything that you need to get good at flying your drone. Now we'll get right into it. This is the drone I'm gonna be teaching you to fly today. It's called the Indutrix. And you can see that mine's a little bit different than the original one. And that mine has a little camera right here on the front. Now this camera doesn't record video. All it does is send live video back to my goggles right here. And it lets me fly around my whole house from my couch or even fly across the street at the park. And if you wanna know more about that, uh, just check out my second video. Uh, it's called FPV or first person view. And I'll tell you everything that you need to know to get started with that. Now this is the remote that I'm gonna be using today. And if yours looks a little different, if it looks more like this, it's just fine. They both have the exact same functionality and either one that you have, it's not gonna help you learn to fly any faster. So getting into it, let's make sure that our battery is charged, that we have our drone and our remote and we can get started. Now when we first start, we wanna make sure that our throttle is all the way down. This is the throttle on this stick right here. And again, all the way down, remote has to be on normally before starting to fly your drone. And most of the drones that you buy nowadays, when they first get plugged in, they need to be set down perfectly flat. And that's because the drone doesn't know which way is up, down, or level. So, battery in. I have a table right here in front of me. I'm gonna just go ahead and plug this guy in and set it down flat. So the first thing you'll need to do to start practicing is get yourself a big open area, preferably hardwood floor. It's actually going to be quite a bit harder to learn if you have carpet, so try it in the kitchen or if you have a big living room like this, move your table out of the way. The next important thing is make sure that your drone is facing away from you when you try to fly it. If it's facing towards you, then when you push away, the drone will actually come towards you. So again, if the drone is facing away from you and you push away from you with the right stick, the drone will go away from you. If you pull back, it will come back. And if you push right, it will go right, and left will come left. And that's really important when you're learning. That way you don't get confused and it doesn't make it much harder. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and power it up and we'll get started. All right. Now the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to learn how sensitive our throttle stick needs to be. If we just go ahead and jam it right off the bat, it's going to hit the ceiling and we're going to get scared and slam the throttle down and it's going to fall down on the hard floor. And that's not what we want to do. That's definitely the beginner's number one mistake and we're going to avoid that by just slowly moving up this throttle stick until the drone actually does what's called a ground effect and that's what full-scale helicopter pilots use uh, to learn to hover and basically what that means is we're going to move the throttle up slowly until we get a pocket of air underneath us and the drone doesn't go up or down it just rides on that pocket of air so we'll start moving slowly And we'll actually hear a difference when that pocket of air forms. There it goes. You hear the difference? Now we're going to keep moving it up a little bit more until it starts bobbing around and using our right stick to try to keep it in the same location. It'll slide around like that and that's perfectly normal. And again, pushing away will make the drone go away. Pulling back will make the drone come back left for left and right for right. And for the beginning, we're not gonna worry about moving our throttle stick, this one right here, to the left or right at all. That's gonna make the drone spin and that's for the uh, more advanced uh, pilots. So again, we're gonna keep moving our throttle up a little bit more. And after we get comfortable with how sensitive the stick is, we're going to continue raising our throttle until the drone starts to move up very slowly. We can see it's on its way up. Now we're gonna cut the throttle low and it's gonna slowly come back down. You can see how I didn't move it that much and it did a little bounce on the ground. That's perfectly fine. The whole time that you're flying, you're gonna need to slowly move your throttle up and it's gonna slightly ascend and move it slightly down and it's gonna slightly descend. And that bump right there, again, that's perfectly fine. You just need to get used to moving the throttle up and moving it down, and we're gonna try to catch ourselves this time when it starts to come back down. Ready? Again, uh-oh. Look at that. 
That's another one of the beginner's mistakes. It bounces on the ceiling, which again is perfectly fine. Just let it touch the ceiling. I'll do it again. And hit the throttle, and it ended up recovering just fine. So we're gonna go ahead and land. And if you like, just re-watch that last little part again and practice doing this over the next one or two batteries and you'll get really comfortable with how much movement your radio actually needs. Now the last little part to this is if you want to practice that over and over, get that comfortable spot with your thumb where the quadcopter or drone is doing that little hover by itself, the little bobbing up and down, and then don't use your left hand at all anymore. Just use your right hand and get comfortable moving the drone around uh, in, in a little square. So this next part is most likely beyond the two minutes and that's just fine for most of you. You guys learned how to get your drone up in the air and you can start practicing, but if you want some better tips, watch the next minute or so. This is the part that we're gonna start using the yaw or moving our left stick to the left and right. And you're definitely gonna want about five or six flights under your belt before you start trying any of these maneuvers. I really wish somebody taught me this simple trick when I first started flying so that I can learn to fly by always just pushing the forward stick instead of just flying with the back facing me all the time. Which is really good when you're first learning. Again, if you wanna fly with the back facing you all the time when you're first learning, please do that for your first dozen or so flights. This next part I call flying squares. And you're just gonna do that same little hover trick that we did before, barely moving the throttle up when you need to and down ever slightly when you need to. But we're gonna poke the, the drone forward just barely, stop, turn to the left, poke it forward again, turn to the left, forward, left, forward. And that's gonna bring us so that our back is facing us again. And if we get scared, if we can't figure out which way is left or right, it's not a big deal, just continue doing that square. Continue going left, left, and left. And I'll show you how to do it right now. So we'll start flying. And again, for the most part, it's fine to have the drone bob, just like that. We'll get back up and we'll go forward, turn to the left, move forward, turn to the left, move forward, turn to the left, move forward, turn to the left, and we're back facing our back again. And again, if you get scared, if you start moving and you're drifting real far away, just keep going to the left and eventually you'll come back around. All right, I'm gonna leave you guys with some really cool flying that I've done. Uh, if you like this video or you learned something, it'd be really cool if you can leave a like on it. If you want me to do some other type of review, if you can leave that in the comments, that's cool. I'll try my best to make that review happen. And any other tricks and tips, just look forward to my later videos. Uh, they'll be coming out about once every week. And if you hit the subscribe button, uh, it will tell you the next video that I post. All right, guys. Happy flying. See ya.